Hi, everyone, and welcome to day six of our daily Cup of Joe Mad Men Reflections. And we'll begin here asking the Lord to be with us in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, help us to know you are with us. Help us as we enter into the word today to hear your voice speak to us in whatever way we need. In Matthew chapter 9, verses 27 through 31. As Jesus passed by, two blind men followed him, crying out, Son of David, have pity on us. When he entered the house, the blind men approached him, and Jesus said to them, Do you believe that I can do this? Yes, Lord, they said to him. Then he touched their eyes and said, Let it be done for you according to your faith. And their eyes were opened. Jesus warned them sternly, See that no one knows about this, but they went out and spread word of him through all the land. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today's theme, strong faith. And I want to talk about strong faith today because of these words that are said, the powerful words that Jesus says to these blind men today. Let it be done for you according to your faith. That is what this week is all about and what today specifically is all about. It's looking inside of us. God with me, looking interiorly, seeing what he has to say about where I am, where you are most specifically. As I reflect upon this, I think about strong faith, and I think about what that means. When I was a kid, and that's why I'm sitting here on the ground today, I used to do something much like this. I used to gather all the saints around me, whatever characters I could gather around me, probably including Ninja Turtles. And I would just remember that they're my brothers and sisters. Here's St. Joseph, St. Clair, St. Francis, St. John John Paul II, St. Louis and Zaline, St. Therese's parents, Mary, our mother, St. John Bosco over there, Venerable Fulton Sheen, Blessed Miguel Fro, St. Therese, and there's Mary back there too. But it's supposed to have that childlike faith. We're all called to have it. And in this kind of crummy picture and this camera that I have here, it almost seems kind of heavenly, at least in my picture. I don't know if it just what it looks like. Maybe it just looks crummy. But the thing is, is it reminds me of what it will be like in heaven because I'm sitting here on the ground also before the tabernacle in my house, which is what we will do in heaven. Have strong faith with all our brothers and sisters. And so today, that's my challenge to you and to me, is to think about the time in your life when your faith was the strong. When was it? I can think of two times in my life. The first is when I was a child and how childlike my faith was as I did stuff just like this with the saints and the great to God. The second has been the last six months of my life. Praise God for my faith in these last six months. They've been the most challenging of my life. And by the grace of God, my faith is strengthened. So I'm going to ask you today for your challenge. to Think about when it was that your faith was the strongest in your life. So when you were a child, was it a lot another time ago? Was it recently? Is it now? My prayer is that it could be now. That our faith might grow. Because that's what it's all about. And that's my hope for you today. That today's cup of joe might be a reminder of the joy that we're called to have in this season of Advent. Bless you.